Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. Myself Dayanand. And let us continue with Excel VBA 2016 tutorial part 2. If you remember on my first video, I had explained the list of topics we will be discussing in this tutorial. Let's start with the, the first topic, which is introduction to Visual Basic for applications in Excel. I hope you have already installed the required software and you're ready with me and we're, let's get started. Chapter number one. Introduction to Visual Basic for application in Excel. One common question everybody asks, what is VBA and why one should study VBA? Here is the answer. Uh, Excel VBA is one common language which Microsoft uses across all the tools. It could be Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, Access, even Microsoft Publish. Almost every uh, package which comes under Office tools can be programmed or can be worked or automated with the help of Visual Basic applications. When you learn Excel VBA, particularly Excel VBA, you will be able to automate any Microsoft tool Say you, you learned Excel and if you want to automate or work on Word, yes, you can do this. The only change is uh, the object model. So if you ask me what I can do with VBA, what are all the benefits of learning and where I can apply this, look at this, I've listed out a few major applications of VBA. And number one, you can create interactive dashboards dashboard what is the meaning of dashboard a single page which explains our entire stats summary of the raw data uh, you can automate reports from various databases it could be even from access or microsoft sql you you embed into excel from there you generate automated report something like a pivot etc you can also automate a powerpoint presentation which is interesting for you you can also build some tools, the tools like a timer calculator, a age calculator, a sensex calculator, a currency converter. Such tools you can develop using macros, which I will be teaching you in the examples part at the end of the tutorial. Which means almost all monotonous work can be automated, which means say, or anything which you do on a daily basis. Uh, say you generate a report on a daily basis of uh, 100 or 200 users of their stats of their daily productivity etc everything can be automated through excel vba which saves you a lot of time and much more there are much more advantages here and i'll give you a quick example you may need to know what kind of uh, data it's going to be this could be a dump uh, say you, you dump a raw data which is unformatted data from various sources uh, then you format it, you may delete a column or you may add a new column or you may add some formula and change change the values into some other format and finally generate a report and email it to a client. That could be one of the applications. Also extracting data from different databases, you filter it, do some manipulation, do some coloring or conditional formatting or pure and uh, do an advanced filter and generate the report. Such thing, normally time consuming, uh, myself have developed uh, a macro uh, VBA based uh, Excel tool which has reduced the report making time from three hours to four seconds. Could you believe it? It is possible. But how? Through automation. Automation, nothing but making it automated, making it robotic. There are two different ways of uh, automating a Excel VBA or uh, the report generating tool. One with the help of macro, with the, which does not require you to have any programming knowledge. You can be a, a zero programmer, but you can still develop a macro and then make a beautiful reports. Uh, the second one is VBA, which we are focusing much on the tutorial. Uh, that is a visual basic application. A little bit of programming knowledge required, which I will teach you guys. And in, at the end of the 30th video, you will be able to develop your own VBA. Also, for the tutorial purpose, I'm also going to teach you macro, but not in depth. Uh, about macro security, macro basics on how to run a macro, how to record a macro, etc. Yes, let's move on to Excel. So here, 
just to give you a bit introduction on this Excel for a novice, you will call this as a menu bar. All these are toolbar. You could see a formula bar, nothing but address bar here. And the bottom one you see, this is the status bar, which tells you what is the status of the page. And this is where your working area. And if you notice here, there is no developer tab. You see home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, review. So to start with Microsoft Excel VBA or with Macro, you must be, uh, you must actually yes, add a developer option to your Excel. Follow my instructions. Go to file and click on options at the end. The last option, click on options. And here in this menu, choose customize ribbon and check this developer box. Once you get this tick mark, click OK and you see a developer tab right next to view. I'll repeat this instruction. You can pause the video. You go here, click on options and you will customize ribbon. Select the developer option and click OK. So all these are called ribbons. Entire the toolbar earlier version we used to call this as a toolbar, but now everything is called as a ribbon bar. And here is your developer tab. The very first thing you find Visual Basic. There you find macros. The record macro, macro security, add-ins. You will be using this part a lot because you have got a lot of buttons, text box, checkbox, scroll bars, etc. You have design mode and edit mode both and how to launch an explorer of uh, visual basic you just need to click on the first option visual basic or you also have a shortcut key alt f11 it will open a visual basic explorer you click on it yeah here it is and this is your visual basic explorer where you will write your programs your codings literally uh, the programming skills to be developed here again to give you what is all about you could see this window is a, it's called a property window or property explorer or this is project explorer and you have toolbar here a menu bar and again status bar at the bottom as normal this is all for today's video let's meet in the third video the part three where we will be uh, looking at uh, getting started with vba and getting started with vba then we progress on as on the days goes okay if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel is learn and earn my name is dayanand please like my videos share it to your friends who are interested to learn this excel and also subscribe thank you happy learning